Hi guys, welcome back to Codemaster Coach, your medical coding tutor. Guys, today I've been asked if I would explain the difference between an exclude one and an excludes two. Now these are conventions that you'll find in your code book when coding. And if you look at this, mainly the category code for a section, and sometimes you'll see an exclude note and you're getting confused. When can you, when can you not? Does this code include exclude what? So what's going on when you see an exclude one versus an excludes two? And briefly, I will say this. When you see an exclude one, think no. And you're thinking of two conditions, really. So when you see exclude one, think of one code. Exclude two, think of two codes. I've heard that before. And yes, that is a good way to look at it. If you see an exclude one, just know that only one code can be coded. But if you see an exclude two, the two conditions you're thinking of can go together. So let me give you an example. If you look at category H40, H40 is glaucoma. And at the beginning of the glaucoma section at H40, there's an exclude one note. So let me show you that. See how right at see that exclude note right there it says excludes and it identifies different types of glaucoma and that's what you'll find with an exclude note it usually lets you know because H40 is just glaucoma, then absolute glaucoma, congenital glaucoma, and traumatic glaucoma due to birth injury would not be found at category H40. And it actually tells you where you can find those codes. But let me give you an even better example. I went to J45 for asthma. And you'll notice at the asthma section, there's an exclude one and an exclude two. So notice at exclude one, it identifies, first of all, J45 is asthma. But if you're identifying a type of asthma, such as detergent asthma, then you need to go over here. So the exclude one tells you that J45 does not include detergent asthma, eosinophilic asthma, minors asthma. So usually with the exclude one, it's a more specific code. And it's telling you, go there instead. But an exclude two means that they're usually not related. And in circumstances, then it can be used. So, for example, with exclude, that excludes two, asthma with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, J449, that chronic condition is not usually included in because you usually capture it in the acute form for that visit. But if you wanted to identify that, that yes, you could use that. Or chronic asthmatic bron obstructive bronchitis, again, and then chronic obstructive asthma. Notice all those are J449. But those are an exclude two, which means if necessary to identify the fact that this patient also had these co chronic conditions along with this current condition, then yes, you could. But usually you identify them in the acute state for that condition when you captured in the um, first code. So you don't need, you don't need that exclude two. But exclude one, no. That's a more specific code and you should use that more specific code than use the um, unspecified. Okay guys, I hope that made sense for you. Okay, so I just wanted to come to you briefly and explain that to you. And hope that makes sense for you. Okay, guys? See you in the next one.